there YouTube. Right, today, myself and a friend, Azza, are going to be testing some backup two-way radios for the motorbikes in case the Packfoot Bold intercoms go down or if the intercom fails on whatever type of um, intercom system you're using. Now this should technically work for any Bluetooth headset out there as long as it will attach to a mobile phone or at least two of them. So I'll show you what I've done on my bike. We've already set up buzzers um, and I'm going to try to put a little bit of footage in for showing me doing that. So anyway, here's mine. It's a 2007 V-Strom 650. And what we've done is I've bolted an adapter, well, a mounting bracket, onto my pannier. I've then fitted this Serio GL, GL27 aerial, I believe it is. That doesn't need a ground plane. And um, for those of you who know about radios, you would understand that. So under my seat, we've got fitted a Thunderpole T3000, and in the accessory socket there, I've plugged in a Santa SR. Senna SR10 with the appropriate Kenwood type radio adapter. Here's the Senna SR10 uh, using the supplied um, cigarette lighter power supply. It's plugged into the bike so it's powered directly off the bike. Good thing about this one is when you turn the ignition on, it's the centre switches on. When you switch it off, it switches off. And then I've run the additional cable, extension cable, for the push to talk button from the handlebar through under the bike and mounted it there. Now, the other option for hooking up a radio like this to a uh, Hooking up another option like this to a radio is one of these, and uh, it's a Bluetooth adapter. That's it there. It's Kenwood style that fits those Thunderpole T three thousands. And then you've got a wireless push to talk button. And in amongst there somewhere it will be the Velcro strap to, that attaches to that to attach around the um, handlebar. The other thing is if you are looking at a different type of radio, for argument's sake, the um, President Randy Free you will need the Motorola style Bluetooth adapter. You will also need this additional um, cable to convert it from the Motorola pins to the standard two pin mics. And it just plugs in like this. There's the push to talk button. The only downside to this system I can see is it needs charging um, every now and again by a USB, micro USB, and there's a charger point on the bottom of there as well under that flap. Now some of you will most probably say, well why don't you use something like this Bofung 
UV5R radio instead of these CB types. Well, yeah, you can, but what I'm going to be demonstrating is what is legal in the UK. There's no license needed for CB radios in the UK as long as they are they're only allowed to be used as long as they're, you know the output power is 4 watts maximum uh, but just to cover it say you were to use one of these well you can get a battery eliminator that will power the radio directly off the battery of the bike power supply you can also get one of these adapters SO2392 I'm not sure what the name of that bit is there you can also get a mounting bracket and one of these Serio dome mounts or UV mount I can't remember what it's called but it's got a Serio it's got an SO239 connector on top sorry for the bike camera work and whether you can hear me or not properly I've got no uh, mic you can also get something like this uh, my go to SP45 which screws into there and I imagine that's a short area on top of but I'm only going to be testing and showing you what is the UK legal version so for now I'll say goodbye and We'll, I'll bring you back when we're ready to start the testing. Thanks. Right, YouTube, welcome back for the second part, because the first part of trialing did not work. So we've now swapped over, got rid of the CVs, and we're just going to try those both ones out. So same again, Baz is just going to head off down the road there, and he'll give me a shout in a little bit, since before long he should stop here and be on Cardo. Now we lost Cardo, close yeah. to where he is now. Yeah. Yeah, we lost Cardo, but I so could hear you speak. plain as day. Oh, I could still hear you a bit. I was just in foot. I could hear you. Perfect. I can hear. I can hear you, but there's lots of interference. And to be fair, I couldn't make out what you were saying. Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Um, it just might be some interference on your bike. Electrical interference. So we're going to turn round the roundabout and come back to Drayton. Why are you struggling to hear me, are you? The way I see it, the, the interference is too much. Right, got you. Okay, well what we'll do is when you get back here, I will there, uh, I'll ride off. We are back at Drayton in about two seconds. Yeah, so you park up where I am, you stay here, and I'll, and I'll ride off the doors. Because it might be that interference suppressor that's fitted in your power line that might not cause any problems. Couldn't make out a word, you said.
You're back on car though? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to say, I, I want to see what the interference is like on mine, you know, riding away. So if you keep your bike running, and hopefully that will cut down on any interference. So you're going to do the same? Yeah, I'm going to see how far I can get though. Okay, so, off we go. Now, Baz is staying there, because he's getting quite bad interference, which is mostly off the electrical system. It's possibly the interference filter right fitted isn't working properly. So, are you still able to hear me, Baz? I certainly am. Okay, Perfect. nice one. So, we're still on the Cardos right now. Cardos gone. And I've just lost him just before the speed limit signs. So Cardo's gone now. I wonder whether you can hear me. Yeah, Baz, I could hear you. You were very quiet though. That's unusual for me. But the interference is still awful on my end. Yeah, Roger. I'm just at the roundabout. Right, so I'm about 100 yards or so past the roundabout. I can hear again. Um but you can't make out what you're saying, but the interference is horrendous. Yeah, Bazza, I, uh, I'm carrying on. I'm carrying on. I can still hear you, though. Fair enough. I can still hear you. If, if you could kill the interference, it wouldn't be so bad. Yes, yes, yes. Right. I'm coming up to the lay-by. I'm approaching the lay-by. I'm about 400 yards away from the lay-by. To be fair, I can, I can hear you, uh, as I say. So it's, it's far better than the, uh, the original one. Yeah, I'm just going past the lay-by. That's, I'm just going past the lay-by. Yeah, to be fair, you can still hear. Just keep going. Yeah, I'm well past the lay-by now. We're well past the lay-by. Still good here. Still interference, but I can still hear you. Yeah, Baz, can you uh, still hear me? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I can still hear. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I am approaching Williston. I'm approaching Williston over. Well, at that distance, that's, that's very good. That, that's, that's excellent. It's, it's the inf interference that's spoiling it, but apart from that, it's very good. Yeah, certainly, certainly is. Right, so I'm heading for Dan. Dam Head Lane. That's, I'm heading for Dam Dam Head Lane over. I would say that's about the limit where you are now because it's breaking up and you can't hear properly. 
Right, I've just turned into Dam Head Lane. Turned into Dam Head Lane. I don't know if you can hear me, but I can't hear you at all now. Can you still hear me, Baz? Can you still hear me? Baz, eh? You there? I still can't hear you, I don't know whether you can hear me or not. Barsa, are you there? Can you hear me? Still nothing. It's bleeping as though it's trying to cut in, but still nothing this end. Baz, can you hear me? I'm heading back. I'm heading back. Just, just about. Very, very crackly, but just about. Sorry, Baz, I could not understand a word of that. <laughs> I can hear you, but only, only just. Up. Only just. Righty, are you still at the garage? Yeah, that's still at the garage, yeah, yeah. Are you still at the garage, Bazza? Yes, I'm still at the garage. Um, I don't know whether you can hear me, that's... That'll be the second go, so... Yeah, I can hear you and I'm just passing the lay-by, just passing the lay-by. I would say the lay-by really is its a optimum distance, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's quite impressive. It's actually quite impressive. I was expecting it to be the opposite way round, that the uh, CBs were far better. But it hasn't turned out like that. I think if you could get shot of the interference, then you'd be on to a winner. Yeah, Roger, Roger. It's most probably coming through the power supply um, via those battery eliminators. If it was on its own battery, it might work better, but that means you have got to switch the bloody thing on and off it all the time. That's what they call Plan B. Yeah, they certainly do. <laughs> right, I'm just there uh, 100 yards from the roundabout. Okay.
And the connector, Cardo's connected back up yet. C Cardo's Cardo just, just in now, now. Just, just this just second. Yeah. That'll be because the your aerials up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to mention that, but you know. <laughs> That's all right. You know. I'm not perfect. <laughs> You're in good company here, mate. <laughs> Right, I think maybe just one more little bit of a test and that is uh, motorway. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but then again, because of the interference. It's it's the filter, that it's the interference. Yeah. Without the interference to the lay-by, you've got it licked on the motorway without the interference. Yeah. You'd, you'd be, it'd be spot on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, do you want to know where I was when I uh, last heard you? No. As you go down past the lay-by, follow the bends. Yeah. And then, you know when you're coming t towards Williston and you turn right? Yeah, on that horrible, cr down the horrible crossroad. Where they got the building work. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not the crossroads, but that side road that yeah. leads you up. Uh, just there. Were you? You, can, you know, you, you can't moan at that, can you, compared to the car, though? No. Well, strictly speaking, that's the kind of stuff the CV should have been doing. Yeah. Not these. Because um, the, the UHF is very poor, mm. you know. But, range. But but these knock spots off the the first test, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Really, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, should we go back to mine then? Back to yours. And I will get the, get that off and let uh, you get going. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Baz. Hey, no problem. No problem. Yeah.